Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Complete Sets. So today we are going to be looking at the Angelic Raiment. Uh, the Angelic Raiment is a very interesting set because it is one of the first places you can get plus one to all skills uh, fairly easily. Um, it has a level requirement of level 12, so not bad. And you're going to find a lot of these pieces of set, uh, pieces of the set as you're leveling up. It's something that does tend to drop a lot. So, you know, you're, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna find them. You are. Um, first off, let's look at the fact that it has a sword in the set. Uh, whenever a set has a weapon in it, uh, it becomes tied to the weapon. So the weapon has low damage, and then therefore the weapon itself is not as great. Um, so what we're looking at here is we have a complete set bonus of plus 10 to dexterity, 50 to mana, regenerate mana 8%, which isn't the greatest, all resistances 25, half freeze duration, and 40% chance of better magic items. We also get 50% chance of better magic items from the ring, as well as 240 to attack rating. We get fire resist 50% on the armor and 150 defense. We get plus one to all skills on the amulet and literally a, just a flat 75 bonus to our health. Um, and as you can see here, we go from 100, uh, sorry, 60 health to 135 health. So pretty, pretty large uh, gaps there between the two. Uh, at level 12, 75 health can be the difference between life and death. And then on the Angelic Saber, we get 30% increased attack speed and 75% enhanced damage, uh, but still only brings us to 9 to 25, which at level 12, 9 to 25 damage is actually quite poor. We also have partial set bonuses here of uh, plus 10 to dexterity for two pieces and uh, plus 50 to mana for three pieces. Now, most interestingly, I think most people would probably end up using the Angelic Wings along with two other pieces for the plus one to all skills. So, for instance, if you were to run the Angelic Wings, the Angelic Mantle, and the Angelic Halo, you would be looking at plus one to all skills with 50% better chance of magic items and 240 to attack rating, which isn't awful. Um, most people are not going to be running the whole set, but if you look at it, uh, he has 40% chance of magic items and 50% uh, on the ring. So you're looking at 90% better magic items for wearing the set. Uh, so it is going to help you find some better gear at the very least. Uh, we can take a look at the resistances here, which is 75 fire, 25 cold, 25 lightning, and 25 poison. Now, the weird thing about this set is I don't think anybody would actually use this sword to attack anybody. So if you're going to use this set, perhaps you're using it because... You don't melee. Um, I'm not really sure exactly. Because the, the set is a mixed bag. When you look at it, it has a huge amount of bonus to attack rating. You get this uh, 240 attack rating on the ring. You know, you've got um, two different better magic item bonuses. You've got regenerate mana. So um, it's kind of assuming that you have mana requirements. Um, you know, it's got dexterity. It's got mana. It's got plus one to all skills it's got life you know and, and the fact that it has a sword it almost seems like it's a very confused set uh, but thanks to the fact that two of the pieces of the set are a ring and an amulet you'll find that they actually work fairly well into builds uh, the amulet having 20 percent damage taken goes to mana is nice for melee characters and then the uh, ring having 240 to attack rating is also very nice for melee and ranged characters so early on, if you were to run just the three pieces here, the Angelic Wings, the Angelic Mantle, and the Angelic Halo, it could be pretty beneficial for a low-level character um, who's just trying to get his melee damage on. You know, you've got plus one to all skills, 75 to life. you got 10, 10 to dexterity and 50 to mana. You've got uh, fire resist and extra defense on the armor. And then, of course, you've got that huge attack rating bonus with the 50% chance of better magic items. Now, you're probably not going to throw in the Angelic Sickle. But um, still, if you had these three pieces, you'll just put them on just for fun, just so you can have uh, have those bonuses. Um, all in all, the set kind of speaks for itself. You know, you're if you're interested in this set, you're going to look at it and go, ooh. If you're not interested in this set, you're going to go, okay, that is pretty crappy. And uh, for most people, I think it's the Angelic Sickle that really makes this set not so great. 
uh, just simply because it's such a poor weapon compared to <laughs> the rest of the set. Um, you know, if I think if it was just a three-piece set, a lot of people, more people would use it, especially with that pretty nice full set bonus. But because the Angelic Sickle is tied in there, um, it's going to cause a lot of people to shy away from the full set bonus. Um, as always, uh, I do have the links down in the description for the Magic Find video if you want to take a look and see how you can find this set. Uh, this set is actually fairly easy to find, though, and uh, I don't think you're going to have much of an issue. You're probably going to find every piece of this set at least four or five times um, whenever you do you know, your Magic Find runs. Um, you know, it's just how it works. Whenever a set ring drops, a lot of the times it's an angelic halo and whenever a set amulet drops a lot of the times it's an angelic amulet you know it's just just how it is anyway thanks for watching and uh, keep watching Mm, baby,